It's Monday again, people. Can't you tell by the rain? Well, I need to get out of the house or I'm going to go stir crazy. I'm thinking about going up to Savannah, Tennessee and hitting the Walgreens and the Walmart in that area and seeing what we can find. I don't know if that's possibly the best and wisest use of my time and money or not, but that's what I want to do. So, ain't nobody to tell me no. So, I reckon that's what we're going to go do. As you can tell, didn't pick up a lot today. But let's go over what little bit I did get. I got the Silver Springs Florida Cup for a quarter. I got the uh, Sony FD Mavica, whatever. Some weird old Sony camera. I need to check out. See if it works. No idea. If, I don't know where it, if it works. And if it does work, I don't know what it's worth. Do you know what it's worth, Tabby? Tabby doesn't know what it's worth either. This was a Brooks Brothers eyeglass case. It was a dime. I bought it because Rory told me to. It's a Pyrex 4 cup. It was $3.49 plus tax. Appears to be selling for about 16 shipped. If you watched my last video, you saw me look at this. I went back, uh, took it out, unfolded it, looked it over very closely. There's no burns or stains or or pull marks or cats. Whoops, now there's a cat. Paid five. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Paid five. And I might end up having to give it to Tabitha. Uh, navel jelly that's rust inhibitor rust remover uh, as you can tell it's two dollars and fifty cents I looked all these items up in the store and I cannot recall what the prices were you just have to take my word that I'll be able to sell them at a profit those were two dollars those was two fifty those were a dollar this was three I remember the comps on this was fifteen shipped so these were a dollar a piece. You remember the uh, machine was set, sitting there spitting out tickets? Well, eventually the person came back and took the tickets and started putting them on, uh, putting them on the hooks these objects was hanging from. And I just went behind her and picked them up, scanned the barcode. If they was good, I took them all. If they wasn't good, I left them. Liquid nails, that was $1.50. I think they were selling for $8.99. And that's that's my haul. That's my haul for today anyway. So I'll holler at y'all later. Man Mountain Link checking out. Me and Tabby was in here peeling pry stickers uh, with our little Scotty peeler there. And she reminded me that I had not mentioned this. Uh, you saw me pick it up at the store. And I cannot find a comp for it. I scanned the barcode and can't find a comp for it. And this sticker that you can't read says the Golden Rabbit. So I looked up the Golden Rabbit red and white enamel. And it pulled up a whole bunch of listings. And they seem to be obviously not this particular item. But there were red and white enamel other items, bakeware, dishes, plates, blah, blah, blah. 
and uh, the comps were uh, generally high from 49 to 64 dollars uh, per item so uh, this is a bit of a gamble but at five dollars I feel fairly confident in it uh, Tabitha got to playing with this and I forgot to tell you that it cost me five and I'm going to put it up for sale for 25 plus shipping on top and uh, if somebody's interested in it I'll probably sell it to them for 20 it's it's huge it, it's probably it's probably a, a big enough to cover this full-size bed if I unfolded it of course if I unfolded it it'd get covered in cat hair that's a Mustang GT slash CS I have no idea what that means GT is Grand Touring or Grand Turismo which is Italian for Grand Touring CS what would that be Coupe Sport that's just a guess I have no idea maybe I should ask that little kid hey kid Twenty-five to forty dollars. That looks like a cat. Five dollars a piece. Sell for thirty. I spent uh, 40 something dollars inside Walgreens on more clearance stuff. I haven't even had time to unload the truck from that purchase. I already spent another 40 bucks. The ugly, ugly dolls are selling pretty good, like between 25 and 39 dollars, depending on which doll it is. Uh, that, I think I tried to show you the the Mr. Bubbles uh, bubble bath. There's a dollar forty nine, and they're selling for like fifteen or something crazy like that. There's four bottles. I got them all. There was some frozen uh, baby uh, kid shampoo. Uh, people's asking nineteen dollars a bottle for it. It was the same price, dollar forty nine or dollar sixty nine, whatever it was. And there's no sold comps. Last 90 days, haven't sold a single bottle. So I left it, and I got the got the Mr. Bubbles, and then there was a kind of a powdery stuff that you added that was also a Mr. Bubbles. And then there's fizzy tub colors, Sesame Street. I got two of those. These are the magic bath crackles or whatever. I'll put two bottles of bubble bath and one pack of these and sell them for one money. That's the plan anyway. These sell for about uh, $22 shipped. Uh, I just don't think there's enough profit in it. Because there's a lot of them out there, a little bit cheaper. I don't know about this though. Marvel's Adventures, $1.39. Let me look these up. They seem like they might be a good deal. Sold comps are between $13.50 and $15. There was one, uh, one person that sold a two pack for $18.37. All those comps are with free shipping. I went back to Walgreens today to drop off another package. And I did further research and a bit of mathematics. And I bought these four Huggle Pets. They're uh, apparently a hoodie jacket type thing with that head anyway um, 
they're selling for twenty dollars plus shipping on top up to thirty two dollars and ninety eight cents free shipping which is only a couple of dollars difference the blue one appears to do a little bit better it goes for like twenty four dollars with shipping on top but I went ahead and got them uh, they were seven dollars and forty nine cents a piece my Walgreens points covered the tax so if I sell them for what everybody else is selling them for you're looking at a seven dollar profit you get your $7.49 back and a $7 profit. So, that's not terrible. You're not going to get thrift store profit margins on re retail arbitrage items as a general rule. Uh, on retail arbitrage, you're looking at uh, doubling your money, maybe a little bit more on most things. Sometimes you get lucky, but, uh, yeah, after, after consideration, long and careful thought, I decided I'd go ahead and, I mean, who could say no to that face, right? Problem with living smack dab in the middle of nowhere is to get somewhere, you got to drive a goodly distance. This particular trip is 20 miles from the end of my other trip, right? So this is gonna be an additional 40 miles on top of what I usually drive to check thrift stores. So, 15 miles a gallon, you're looking at almost three gallons of gas at $2.10 a gallon. So $6.30, call it an even $6 just to go look and see if they got anything worth having. And every other store is the same way. If you wanna to go to Corinth, Mississippi, you're gonna spend money. If you're gonna to go to Jackson, uh, Huntsville, wherever you wanna to go to check stores, and I wouldn't suggest Huntsville, there's a guy there with a beard that keeps those pretty well cleaned out. But either way, if you wanna go check stores, you're gonna be spending a little bit of gas money just on a chance, on an off chance that you might find something to make profit on. I'm not overly impressed, but let's uh let's check out a few of these cheaper items. You can see most of the these are orange tags, that's the clearance stuff. You see most of those are empty. ones that are left are the ones that uh, you have to check and see if there's any any profit to be made uh, regardless of the original price like this was 16 something that don't mean it's not selling for 25 online so you always got to check downtown Savannah Tennessee yeah buddy More rednecks per square mile. Any other place in the country. Guaranteed. Anyway, we just left Walgreens. Perhaps this wasn't the greatest idea I've ever had. The uh, overcast skies kept my cell phone service to a minimum. I was having lots of trouble scanning barcodes. I was having to go outside and... Uh, 
to get my phone to work at a, a minimum amount. I didn't get to look up everything. A lot of stuff was gone. You saw the empty shelves. The stuff that was there wasn't uh, wasn't a lot of profit. This may have been a wasted trip. And there's a sheriff. Hey, sheriff. That's a pretty looking little vehicle, ain't it? I didn't mean that. Anyway, so I ended up with some some 50 cent A and W root beer singles to go. Same thing in orange and strawberry crush and Hawaiian. I believe it's called Hawaiian Tropic. Then I got some of the bigger the bigger variety packs of Hawaiian Tropic. Those are dollar ninety nine a piece. And the only thing that I yeah, right there. You see, see that? That's the only thing that the that wasn't drink related. That's a uh, bath fizzies. Looks like a Cookie Monster. Probably somebody had a wreck. Might be me. Anyway, uh, I want to use my phone to see if there's anywhere else in here to go. I think there's a Walmart around here. And we're going to go hit that next. This is a big damn Walmart. I don't know if you can see that. I don't think you can. This is huge. They got an arcade. Why don't my Walmart have an arcade? I want an arcade. We found a clearance. See if there's anything here worth having. I doubted it being a big clearance aisle. But that don't look encouraging. Those aren't clearance prices. Seven dollars for that. Okay, the only things that are cheap are these tic-tac-toe things, and they got tons of them. Tons of them. Tons of them. No way I can buy those out at $7 a piece. It'd be $700 worth of product there. Well, not that much, but more than I want to spend anyway. Let's see if we can't find something. Look at that. $39.92 for, for that. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't pay three dollars and ninety-two cents for that. More or less thirty-nine. All right, let's see if we can find something better than this. It was twenty-one, now seventeen. It was a dollar ninety-two, now a dollar fifty. Huge discounts. It was fourteen, now eleven. It was nineteen, now fifteen. Just giving the stuff away. Was ten ninety six now seven. Yeah. Was sixteen now thirteen. Was fourteen now eleven. Excuse me. This is not good. These are half price. You still can't make no money on. All right, let me put the phone up. I bought a $5 t-ball bat and a 50 cent frog. My, my phone's not working. I bought a case yesterday.
And that's why I don't go to Savannah much. Found a 50 cent baseball bat and a 50 cent frog. And that was it. The phone wouldn't work. I couldn't look stuff up. I had to go outside to look stuff up. And it still took two or three minutes to get a connection. So I'd, I'd find something, walk all the way to the front of the store, scan it, set the item down, take the phone outside, and then wait for the signal to go through and the item to scan. And I just did that over and over and just never found anything worth a damn. In fact, I didn't even look the baseball bat up. I just figured a $5 baseball bat it's got to be worth that. So we're headed back towards your house. I don't think there's anything else in Savannah worth mentioning. I didn't see any thrift stores on the way in. And I've just about I've just about had enough cheese. I just went out of the trap. That should buff out. In case y'all was wondering, the guy with the spoons never sent them back never contacted me again good good riddance uh, the woman with the boots that left me the negative feedback I went ahead and refunded her the money without telling her about it I'm assuming eBay will send her some kind of notification Honestly, I refunded the money because it was the right thing to do. But if she doesn't know that I refunded the money, it's not going to hurt my feelings. I hope she's just sitting there stewing in her hatred or whatever. Either way, the, the boots did tear up, or at least I assume they did. I mean, she's angry about something, right? She never sent me a photo, but uh, for the sake of argument, let's say that the boots tore up and I had a no return policy. But uh, there's, a, there's a right thing and a wrong thing. And the right thing would be to give her her money back. The wrong thing would be to keep it. If I gave her her money back, eventually I'll call eBay. Hey, look, I got a negative feedback. I gave the woman her money back. Remove the feedback, and they'll do it. People talk about eBay for business on Facebook. Like, it's a, a really good uh, source. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't, I can't say yay or nay. But perhaps it's something you could look into if, uh, if you do eBay for a business. Guess who's back? Back again. Tell a friend. Yeah, well, here we are at Jesus Cares again. And there's the back of the furniture store. And as you can tell, or probably can't tell, I never came back and got that lazy boy handle. But at least I got some gravel to fill in some of these damn potholes. As you can tell, it's mostly, mostly water and a little bit of mud. I think I found a halfway dry spot to get out. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what we can find. Get home for the food melts. Got a vintage Dale Earnhardt cap, two pair of shoes, and a PT Touch labeler system. The labels for such a system. Little dirty, little dirty, ain't gonna lie. These, these look pretty good. You see that? See that? You cut that off as short as you can and hit it with a cigarette lighter and they'll draw up and you'll never see that. And then I got uh, eight camouflage ball caps. Some of them new with tags, but they're, they're like, uh, you know, here, I'll show you one. J&B Auto Sales, Selmer, Tennessee. New tag. They're like that. I don't know if I can sell. I'm hoping I can find somebody that wants to buy seven camouflage baseball caps. This is the vintage Dale Earnhardt cap. You can see the sweat stains. That's pretty gross. But I'm thinking I can clean this up. 
Chase Authentic. They used to be the brand back in the day. All right. That's all I got. Well, I got that other, that. I don't know if it's worth anything, but as a general rule, the Brother PT Touch labeling stuff is worth money. Even the, even the uh, generic ones are worth money. All right, well, that's all I got here. Spent $8 and a quarter. I don't think I went over the haul very well in the truck. I think I covered the thrift store pretty good, but uh, the Walmart and Walgreens purchases was kind of lacking. I spent $39 uh, on merchandise. I got the uh, Fizzy Tub Colors. That makes the third one of those. All three of them are Cookie Monsters. They're... They are actually other characters. I just can't seem to find them. I got the Hawaiian Punch singles, the Strawberry Crush, the Orange Crush, the A&W Root Beer. I also got A&W Cream Soda and Hawaiian Punch Fruit Juicy Red. Uh, I got like two or three bags of that stuff. I didn't feel it necessary to set out every single one of them. Uh, 50 cent frog because why not right I'm hoping to sell that for uh, $6.99 free shipping that's the $5 baseball bat I bought at Walmart uh, profit on that should be $6 so that should cover my gas that's the uh, Jack Lynx Terrier Teriyaki beef jerky that I bought and forgot that I had so guess we'll take that with us for the next trip but yeah, uh, not every day is a home run. Man, Mountain Link has once again totally outdone himself. Hope you enjoyed our trip to Savannah. I didn't find it all that enjoyable. More stressing this. More stress inducing than anything else. But uh, it would tickle me at the rear bumper would fall off that car I wish eBay could get us sellers a better rate on shipping through USPS the fact that a small third party shipper like Pirate Ship is able to get better rates than eBay it's just disgraceful. Uh, Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, cut a deal with the USPS. Now, the, that particular deal is classified, but what's public record is the amount of packages he shipped via USPS and the amount of revenue USPS took in. And with a little bit of basic arithmetic, you'll be able to figure out that he paid just over two dollars per package now that's first class under four ounce rate right there and he's getting priority service and ebay should be able to do something something similar that 12 percent discount just doesn't go very far uh, the rates increased again this past month and i have i've been contacted uh three times by three different buyers looking for a, a discount on the item price to make up for the increase in the shipping price so i believe that ebay would be a more viable platform if we could just get the shipping cost under control because it's ridiculous you you're able to buy something out of china for a dollar or two and you, you can buy the same thing from the state next door and pay six seven eight dollars uh, the cost of shipping shouldn't be more than the cost of the item. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. So anyway, there's our experience with the uh, retail arbitrage. Uh, I can't say... Ooh, look at that. I can't say that it was unusual in fact it is pretty standard you find something at one store 
that's a good deal that you can make money on. And then you go to the next door and the next door and you can't find that same thing. You might be able to find a different product. And if you get lucky, you know, you find that same product you're hunting. But a lot of times you don't find that same product. You end up having to try to find something else to make money on. And that's just the way it is. And up here, it's kind of expensive. All the driving around. There's the Savannah, Tennessee mural. Not as nice as Selmer. I'm assuming that's our courthouse. I hate when you have to park on the side of the street. You have to pull out into traffic back out in the traffic. The Savannah Motel. Oh, this is the original Trail of Tears, too. Which is kind of a horrible thing, but they decided to advertise it, so I thought I'd tell you about it. What does that say? Sicker, sicker than most? dumber than most. Who lowers a full-size truck? Somebody that don't need a truck. Oh well. Here we go. Back across the Tennessee River. Yeah, it looks like, looks like a lovely day. That's where it's supposed to end. That's the river. That's people's houses. That's where they live. My ex-girlfriend's mother lived over there. All that is fields and houses. That's not part of the river. That's a cotton field. Oh, that's cotton field. Oh, well, enough of that. It's raining like pouring piss out of a boot. If Bobby don't come out this time, I'm just going to get another cat. Jesus Christ. Bobby, get out, boy. Come on. Come on. I'm drowning out here, son. Come on now. Please, boy. Get the hell out. 